eminent alumni, also chairman of the KNUST University Council, and member council of state. I like one thing about my president, he's a man of records. And every time we get here, he's my producer. He does it so well, Your Excellency, I'm grateful to you. For these meritorious services, the Republic of Ghana is proud to confer on you membership of the Star of Ghana. Other lucky recipients of the 2007 Order of the Star of Ghana were the Chief Justice of Ghana, Her Ladyship, Mrs. Georgina Theodora Wood, and Governor of the Bank of Ghana, Dr. Paul Aqua. If you see great chiefs like these, why do people still run away from being called chieftaincy? There must be something good in there. Thing is, ladies and gentlemen, I deem it a privilege and indeed a great honor to be called upon to speak on behalf of my fellow national awards recipients. I should like, first of all, to express a profound gratitude to God for the gift of life and for his abundant mercies which have brought us this far. We wish also to express our heartfelt appreciation to you, our illustrious president. And your government for recognizing our individual efforts and celebrating them today with such pomp and circumstance. It is our expectation that as a nation we shall continue to strive towards creating a national environment that nurtures creativity, rewards risk, and encourages excellence. We are indeed humbled, Mr. President, by these honors and trust that they will motivate us to continue serving our country with greater zeal. We are also justifiably proud to be honored in the glorious year of our Golden Jubilee as a nation. It is our hope and prayer, Mr. President, that the noble intentions which moved you to institutionalize this annual national awards ceremony may serve as a challenge to all Ghanaians to pursue excellence in whatever field of human endeavor they may find themselves in. and to work more diligently to build a prosperous and happy nation. Over the years, some of the nation's finest men and women have walked up to the podium to receive 
similar honors. We humbly suggest, Your Excellency the President, that the deeds of such distinguished citizens and others to follow be chronicled and studied by the youth of our country in our institutions. This will surely serve as an inspiration to them. Fifty years after independence, it is only fitted and proper that we immortalize the contributions of our own heroes. On behalf of my colleagues, we dedicate these awards to God, our families and friends, and to all whose contributions have made it possible for our being honored today. In conclusion, let me thank you once again, Mr. President, for this great honor, which we shall surely cherish forever. Long live Ghana. May the good Lord bless us all. Nana, I call Munio. In many instances, a chief's structure, dignity, and respect is judged by his palace. No wonder that Nano Tro Srebo, 1907-1933, left behind a palace designed and built by Italian architects and contractors. Nano Tro Srebo II recognized the need for a more functional and multi-purpose structure and therefore, in consultation with his elders, decided to expand and renovate the existing palace. The new palace was begun in July 2008 and completed in September 2009. It was funded from Nana's own private resources. For the first time in the history of Jabin, Nana only accepted voluntary contributions from his people. <laughs> Won't And to Gabin for Pillar and Asuswan, or two for the Mamma Jane Say, Gabia in Fia Pillar, no one yakas here. Momom's a motive for the new palace comprises a suite for the Omahine, offices of the Omahine, elders' common room, five rooms for the traditional council, a conference room, four separate reception halls for dignitaries a large double volume patio with a seating capacity of about 1,000 people, visitors' apartment and garages. The beauty of an edifice such as a palace can be judged from three angles, the exterior, the interior, decoration and furnishing or both. The new Adakwa Yadom Oseishidia Palace of Asante Jabin, occupied by Nanotu Sribo II, claims both. The preference of the people of Jabin for quality has never been in doubt throughout their history. The beautifully crafted, unique and luxurious interior decoration and furnishing of this palace adds to its beauty and aesthetic value. A palace belongs to the Oman and the general public and people from all walks of life have an opportunity to visit it. Furnishing such an edifice, therefore, might have posed a difficult task to Nana. But Nana knows that quality is always essential whatever the price. And Nano Tuos Rebo did not compromise on quality. Indeed, decorating is an art, and furniture is a way of showing a person's taste. The ideal height of 75 centimeters, for instance, is to make it convenient and comfortable to sit and enjoy a good meal. In decorating, 
it is permissible to break all other rules. The final judge, as any decorator worth his salt knows, is not the logic of the mind, but the logic of the eye. The result may be an uncomfortable room, but undeniably beautiful. Therefore, it is important to satisfy one's taste because nothing is ever out of taste. Edeba was held in honor of Otunfo Seitutu II, who had agreed to officially inaugurate the palace. Indeed, Nana had conferred with Otunfo the Asantehini, who had charged him to construct a new palace to coincide with his 40th year anniversary. Otunfo Seitutu II, the Asantehini, before inaugurating the palace, commended Nanoto Srebo for a good job done. The overlord of the Asante kingdom graciously cut the tape to inaugurate the new Jabin palace. After 40 years on the Osei Shidye Adakwa Yadom stool, the 26-year-old engineer has grown in structure, wisdom and perhaps material wealth as well. If Nana had refused to celebrate his four decades on the stool, the people of Jabin would have taken it upon themselves to celebrate. Nana, however, could not celebrate his 40th year of installation without remembering his uncle Nana Yaus upon whom he succeeded. A church service was therefore organized to mark the 40th year of the death of the great chief, Nanayao Sapon, as the first literate or educated Omahin of Jabin's stool on three separate occasions in his 38 years on the stool. Apart from what he did for Jabin Man, his contributions to Asante Man was without blemish. He represented Asante Man at a committee whose work led to the promulgation of the 1946 Burns Constitution. No wonder Nana tapping from the wisdom of his uncle had the singular honor of representing the Ashanti region under the umbrella of the Regional House of Chiefs at both Constituent Assembly of 1979 and the Consultative Assembly of 1991 to 1992, culminating in the promulgation of the 1979 and 1992 constitutions. Nanayao Sapong, Wichasapa. Gone are the days when the history of Asante was passed on verbally. Jabin is one particular traditional area which did not shy away from the white man's school when the Christian churches brought their schools. The royals indeed starting from Nanayao Sapong, embraced education. The current occupant of the stool, Nanotu Sribo II, is an engineer. It therefore came as no surprise when celebrating his 40th year as Omahini, a book covering the history of Jabin was launched. Otunfo Se Tutu II consented to write the foreword of this important book. The book launch attracted great personalities including the former president J. E. Kofo and other dignitaries. A former schoolmate at the Achimota School and a distinguished personality, Dr. Joyce Ai, launched the book. <laughs> 
na yenye na yenye mwa na yen top enwoma ni bi enwoma ya adie bi a eboa yen ama yetin tim enya abakosa mo pe nanso nyuma etitire ni akese a yetumi aye se ne be ya nkyirima nso ba wo manya bi ahwe so na omo dia bo wo mo bra enti ni ameka ne se minim se mu nyina mo no be ye adwene ba ko se ye manana otuo sire bo ye manammo se odi ni mfia duanan yi ye nhia se enko anemum ye wo biribi a ebe kra wo ye nsam a ye de be kai ni a onyankopon afa ne so ayama jabe man nana otuo sire bo the second a man here of driving asante an exemplar of the modern traditional ruler so this book is duly launched nana expressed his view at the launch otunfo sang mai wo so she in crying say entro na emfa nhye na enhu sen ntima no so ba ye ye no sabe the money na kete man pro no nya ne fiti ka kire en so say the ticket che no computer ni email abai one fan to kata so a asum no sabe entumi enye eh say the city e te adama ma ye da wase wa futu pa wo de man wo ba be di santi him fie dumi enu ni e unya ye mu da anopa awia anwumre ba bia be ko bia so tio bra me enko eya animonyam a sabe e ma me nko a me so e ba jobe ma nyina ye so ti asida de o da ma ye ntumi enna wase onti ne fo da se bre ye da wase a ye be bre some dignitaries expressed their views about the book i'm most grateful to nana for the relevant and valuable pieces of information some of them rare and highly insightful that he provided from his private archives they considerably reduced the tedium of research i'm equally grateful for the great interest he showed in the progress of the manuscript and for the time he spent helping to proofread it in writing this book my aim was to interrogate nana's leadership in the wider historical context of asante and to lend a fresh perspective to the continuing debate on the relevance of chieftaincy in contemporary Ghana just to celebrate and launch your book what you have achieved with the permission of Otufo with our humble self we will be giving you a token with 25,000 US dollar to launch the five book. Achame wo se nyame ne yeda na se na me nua ketua yi wo hwe dwabe man so ama me. Efutuo ni bibiara e wo so no de ma me na so de ma no bia ye guso aye yo. Wo ye city enti wo ka bibia wo te ase e wo fa. Ono nso bibi no obeda adwen ho a onso de so masuma adwendwene ho ma ne ye ye. Birthdays are significant milestones in an individual's life and the cause for celebration by family, friends and of course, the celebrants themselves. And when on September the 21st, Nanoto Srebo looked back 40 years to the age of 26 when he ascended the Jabin stool, he had every reason to thank his maker for guiding his steps. So, Nana, the elders and people of Jabin gathered to commemorate this special day. Birthday cakes have been an integral part of birthday celebrations since the middle of the 19th century. The birthday cake has become a symbol of celebration. This marks the start of the new year in a person's life and the cake is an extra element of their festivity. It is the wish of the people of Jabin, Asantiman, and indeed all Ghanaians, that the Almighty God gives Nana many more years to lead his people. Although a 40th year anniversary does not last 40 years, 
there is still enough room to cater for the children of Drabing traditional area. Children of the area were eagerly waiting for their invitation cards, and Nana Utua Srebo happily made them available to them. Their get-together was a memorable one. They are still eagerly waiting for the 50th year anniversary celebration. Fireworks add spice to important events in life, such as anniversary.